everybody, it's Deanna with Stark Social Media Agency back with another Stark Social Quick Tip. I just wanted to quickly follow up on a lot of the information that I give you guys during trainings. So one of the tools that I use a lot is canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And I wanted to encourage you, even if you're not a graphic designer or you don't have a graphic design team, to try your hardest, your very, very best, to make quality images that you can share on social media. So I wanted to introduce you to this tool. Um, I've gone ahead and just created a new account so you guys can see exactly what this would look like when you first sign up. You can use custom dimensions, which means that if you don't see something in here that you can use for what it is you're doing. So if you're making a specific type of post, if you've got an advertisement, if there's something that you really need to make sure that you're doing in the right spe specifications for size, you can use custom dimensions. So always make sure that you know the dimensions of the product that you're working with. But otherwise, they have created um, predetermined templates with really great images that you can buy. They're like a dollar a piece. Some of them are free. But they've got Twitter posts, social media, which is just generic, Pinterest graphic. This is great for if you're putting together pins that you're doing that are linking to videos or other stuff. Instagram posts. The one thing that is one of my hugest pet peeves is Instagram posts that are not properly sized. So make sure that if you're posting something for Instagram, you use the correct size, 6040 by 6040. Facebook, Facebook app, and then Tumblr graphic is new. They're always adding new and different things. One of the one things that I love that we'll be using a lot of is these infographic ones. Infographics are really hot right now and people love them. If you're creating any type of Facebook cover, Twitter cover, YouTube channel art, YouTube channel art is actually the hardest thing <laughs> for a lot of people to accomplish. And it's only because the sizing is so odd. But they've gone ahead and added this here. So if you're creating art for your YouTube channel, which is one of the things I, I absolutely recommend that most everybody have is a YouTube channel, you can go ahead and do it right in here. And what you're going to notice is when you start with Canva, they offer you a lot of different templates. You'll see the little dollar signs in the bottom here, and that shows you that it's, it's a pay one. But they also have a lot of free templates. So what that means is that you can take advantage of a free template, and you can change any of the content that you want. So if you want it to be the title of your blog, if you want it to be the title of your business, if we wanted to change this to Stark Social, and then you can go ahead and it's super easy. All these little things pop up. Super easy to resize things. You can change the color. If you have the color code, definitely use the color code for whatever your logo design is. This is super easy and super fun, and I recommend that you play around with it. Um, most of these templates are like a dollar. If you want to change pictures, um, you can go ahead and search different pictures. You can add lines and icons and shapes and all kinds of cool stuff. So that's my quick tip for today. Just make sure that you're always, always using really quality, really well done graphics. And if you have any questions, you can always hit us up at starksocial.com. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash starksocial. Follow us on YouTube, just search Stark Social, and make sure that you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Stark Social. If you have any questions, we're always here for you, and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.